Hi, Cooler Guys here, and I'm going to give you some general instructions on one of our cabinet cooling kits that's thermal controlled. This is a single 120 Pro Metal kit. Now we've got many different kits in the Pro Metal. We got single 120, dual 120, triple 120, deluxe. We also have smaller kits in the, in the acrylic brackets, um, 80 millimeter, dual 80, single 92. Um, we also have them in wood. And we've got also got non-thermal control kits as well. That would be our light kits. But on this particular kit, it'd be a single 120 Pro Metal thermal control, the standard preset thermal controller. Oh, here it is. <laughs> okay, you're gonna get you're gonna get the bracket, mesh grill, protective grill. 12 volt fan, this is a low speed, very durable, dual ball bear bearing fan and quiet. Preset thermal controller, this goes on at approximately, turns the fans on at 87 to 88 degrees, turns them off at 81 to 82 degrees, which is a good range. Comes with bolts to attach the fan, comes with wood screws to attach the, the kit to the cabinet, comes with a few zip ties to help you handle the wires. Basically when you get the kit, any kit you get, you got to determine which way you want the airflow to go. If you look at the fan, on the side of it, it's going to have an arrow right there. It's going to show you the airflow is going that direction, always towards the logo. On, once you determine that, you put you mount the fan to the bracket according to it. So let's just say we're going to mount this fan on the this bracket on the outside of the cabinet. We want the airflow pulling the air out, so we're going to go logo up, put the mesh drill on. Bracket on top of that. Take one of the bolts here. Put it through. Attach the protective grill. Make sure this this grill has a little bit of an offset. Make sure the offset is going away from the fan. Screws together like so. Put the rest of the bolts, nuts, bolts and nuts in. And uh, it's like this. Very, very tight, simple, nice. Once you get it put together, you're going to want to cut the hole in your cabinet. In this particular kit, you're going to, it's going to require a five inch square hole. This fan is four and three quarter inches square, so a five inch square hole is going to allow this fan to fit through. And this bracket is six and a quarter inches uh, in, in, in size, square in size, so that's going to fit over that hole. And you use the wood screws that come with it and attach it. Okay. Then you have the power supply right here. It's going to plug into the back right there. Only goes on one way. Make sure you put it on the right way. Plugs right in. We've got um, fan connections for up to four fans. Just going to be using one in this case. Always add more if you need to. Plugs right in the back like that. And we've got the thermal probe wire. Comes standard with a two foot long cable. We have an optional four foot extension cable if you need that on our home theater accessories page. It's also got a bypass switch. You can switch it to the on position, just turns the fans on. Switch it to the off or the thermal control position. It's controlled by the switch. Now in this particular kit, if you decide to order the upgrade LED controller, it's going to look exactly, exactly the same size as this, but it looks like this, and it's got an LED display on it. And the LED display is going to give you a constant readout of what the ambient temperature of the cabinet is, and then you can also program when the fans turn on and when they turn off, which is kind of handy. It's nice. Um, if you order this option, it also comes Standard with a three foot long fan extension cable gives you a little flexibility on where you mount this. And it also comes with a shelf mount mounting bracket. It allows you to just pop this controller into the bracket. Quite a snug little fit. Snaps in place. You can set that on, you can set that on a shelf. You can mount it to the top of your cabinet, mount it to the bottom of a shelf if you want. 
it comes with the little little wood screws to allow you to do that. So that's a that's a nice little setup. Also, um, on this particular 120 millimeter version, we, you can get it with a standard acrylic bracket. Exactly the same, just acrylic plastic instead of the pro metal, which is fine. We also have it in a, a wood bracket. This wood bracket here, fan's going to mount a little bit differently. You just mount it to the back. It comes with screws to allow you to mount it with a back protective grill and some brass screws to attach it. Now this, this wood uh, it comes with a thin or light sealer on it, but you can sand this down and stain it to whatever color you want or paint it. It paints out nicely. Another uh, variation that we have is a deluxe kit. A deluxe kit is going to have the LED controller built into the bracket, like this dual one right here. This is kind of nice. You can mount this on the outside of a cabinet or a wall, uh, or you can mount this finished part on the inside of a cabinet. You can just kind of sit in the back wall and have the controller sticking up above your, your component so you can look in there and get a readout of what the temperature is and easily adjust the, when the fans go on and off. We have this deluxe kit also in a single fan unit as well. If you, need, if you have any other questions, you can always email us at info at We'd be happy to help you. Thanks for watching.